We're here for the Almighty Stack event at the 2017 Borgata Poker Open with the hottest man in poker, DJ Alexander, who is cashing everything around the country. DJ, you came here to the Borgata, presumably for the WPT event as well, but you're here for the Almighty Stack event. What did you think of it today? It was pretty cool. It was my first time uh, playing the Almighty Stack. Um, the amount of chips, was it was throwing me off a bit, like those chip stacks. Uh, like in virtue of the the blinds, or something I wasn't used to at all. Like playing this deep, this early in the tournament was just difficult for me to adjust to. Yeah, you're still going to be well adjusted once the WPT comes to town. It's a more familiar structure for the tournaments that you play. And one of those tournaments that you recently did well in was the Legends of Poker event at WPT at the bike. You finished fourth in your first ever TV final appearance. What was that experience like playing with Phil Hellmuth among others? Phil Hellmuth is the best. He is hilarious. He gets on to everyone though. He's gonna if you make a play that he doesn't like, he's gonna let you know about it. But yeah, he's a super nice guy. I which was shocking it was my first time beating him. So off the scenes he's super nice and then when he gets to the table, he puts on his facade. It's uh his show, that's all it is. Yeah, certainly a lot of people have been there, seen the show, but it was an amazing experience, I'm sure. And you announced halfway through the tournament that you were donating 5% of your winnings to Harvey Relief in your hometown of Houston. You received a lot of positive feedback for that, and a lot of people have been donating for Houston as well. What does it mean to you to see the poker community come together for a good cause, like benefiting your hometown? That's amazing. It's actually very shocking to see how many. I mean, it's not shocking, but I was definitely surprised. I was like, oh, man, like, where did this come from? Like, uh, I know Asher, he's pretty much got all the people in the East Coast behind it, then Chance is doing it with W Coop, uh, tons of poker players are just donating, which is amazing for me and all my friends back home, like, who don't play poker, that were affected by this, so for them to have a shot to get something out of it, I mean, they don't have to get anything out of it, but just for the poker players to give back, that's uh, pretty, pretty amazing. Yeah, there's almost 50 players here alone doing it for Borgata, and sure, many more are doing it as well. And we'll let you out of here on this. You're currently sixth in WPT Player of the Year standings, and but you don't have a major win this year. Obviously, second in Millionaire Maker. It's a pretty darn good result. But would you rather win a major tournament before the end of the year or win WPT Player of the Year? Oh, man, that's really close. Um, yeah, I think it's about 50-50. Like, I don't know which one I would prefer. Uh they're both like super prestigious but I don't know I think I'm going to lean towards player of the year I think I'm going to lean towards player of the year that would be amazing but I wasn't even intending to play much, many more tournaments this year but I was just blown away just exhausted after the series and then after the lead up but I decided I was like oh man now I'm 10th in GPI player of the year and 6th in WPT player of the year so I'm like well I guess I have to go for it now well there's certainly a lot more tournaments left to be played thank you for joining us CJ and good luck this weekend and with the WPT thank you